With Hollywood Studios looking to make every successful TV show, video game, comic book, or even board game into a blockbuster movie, you'd think they would try to adapt the parts that actually, you know, worked. You would be wrong, since an amazing world of mythology and characters can be turned into absolute garbage pretty easily. Here are 10 disappointing movies that wasted amazing source material. Green Lantern by now, we don't really need to go into detail with just how disappointing Green Lantern turned out to be, with Ryan Reynolds being about the only aspect of it that critics and fans didn't tear apart. It's still a prime example of how a story spanning an entire galaxy with countless alien worlds, heroes, and villains can be completely wasted on a ridiculous villain, horrible action, and the idea that a superhero doesn't really need a costume. X-Men 3 The Last Stand Recent comic book flops have helped the third X-Men movie rise by comparison, but even if The Last Stand delivered some laughs or cool action, its treatment of Jean Grey is unforgivable. The Phoenix Saga remains one of Marvel's most iconic stories, seeing Jean be lost to the cosmic force inside of her. The movie skipped over so much, they didn't even need to explain how Professor X came back to life. Prometheus in hindsight, nobody connected to the film should have ever implied that Prometheus would actually be a prequel to Ridley Scott's Alien. But that's how the movie began its life, before rewrites weakened or erased the links between the films, and fans noticed. While the movie may be epic or visually stunning in its own right, and it explores some unique ideas about faith and creators, it will always be remembered as a failure for using the Alien brand to build buzz, without actually delivering on the connection. Avatar The Last Airbender Make no mistake, the Nickelodeon cartoon series following rival nations of Earth, Water, Fire, and Airbenders is one of the best mythologies created in the past few decades. But even that couldn't save The Last Airbender from writer-director M. Night Shyamalan. Even without the insane budget and whitewashing controversy, the movie itself completely avoided the fun and energy of the series, and failed at being a decent movie, too. Wanted a movie doesn't have to be a failure to leave fans of the comic book it's based on disappointed. Wanted ended up as a story about bullet-curving assassins killing targets that fate selected, which is pretty cool. Until you realize the original comic was basically set in the DC Universe, after the supervillains had won and erased heroes from the world's memory. The movie had the action and comedy to pull off a story that big, but it turned the murder-loving villains of the comic into proud heroes, which missed the point for many. Prince of Persia Sure, we could pick almost any video game movie and it would fit this list, but Prince of Persia was a special kind of awful from the moment it cast Jake Gyllenhaal as the Persian hero, and surrounded him with an almost entirely white cast. But there's a reason the video game series lasted so long, and it's based on thrilling parkour, witty banter, and epic magic and time travel. Instead, the movie tried to recreate Pirates of the Caribbean-esque humor and Disney-esque magic, playing it safe and entertaining no one as a result. Fantastic Four. To be fair, you could probably say the same about every movie version of Marvel's first family, since directors and the studio are clearly hell-bent on making the Fantastic Four goofy, cheesy, or just boring carbon copy superhero mutants. Instead of sticking to the sci-fi spectacle, the fringe science, or just the family drama that's made the team a hit in the Marvel comics, Fox has been racing to keep up with Marvel's other hit franchises. A decision that didn't just kill the franchise, but killed them in the comics, too. Daredevil. These days, it's obvious just how good a live-action Daredevil story can be, which makes the Ben Affleck-led movie seem like an even bigger missed opportunity. Even Marvel's own writers have said Affleck wasn't really the problem, but rather the story, which failed to do justice to either Matt Murdock the attorney or the blind crime fighter. The original director's cut was actually a bit better, but when test audiences responded most strongly to the romance, the studio edited accordingly, ramping up the cheese factor along with it. Doom. The movie has become a punchline for video game movies in general, but seriously, imagine a movie starring Carl Urban and The Rock as space marines traveling to Mars to fight demon monsters being announced today, and the hundreds of millions it could make at the box office. Since the Doom mythology is as generic as it gets, the film could have done anything it wanted. Instead, audiences got a movie that was almost trying to be bad, and don't even mention the first person sequence. Iron Man 3 Iron Man is still going strong in the MCU, but after Iron Man 2 took a step down from Tony Stark's first movie, hopes were high for Iron Man 3, with the Avenger taking on the forces of the evil Mandarin. Fans were already split when Sir Ben Kingsley was cast in an Americanized version of the villain, but when the movie's twist revealed him to just be an actor playing the deception for laughs, plenty of fans revolted, calling it a waste, a bait and switch, and a massive missed opportunity. Since the MCU doesn't have many, we had to give this one its due. 
Hey everyone, if you liked this video, make sure that you check out our friends at the CBR YouTube channel. They've got some amazing new videos about movies, TV, video games, comics, and tons of more fun stuff. Check out their new video, subscribe to their channel, and don't forget to tell them that Screen Rant sent you. Those are just some of the incredible comics, games, and movies that have had their potential wasted in modern adaptations. Which ones do you despise the most? Let us know in the comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.